the Barbados Secondary Schools Athletic Championships for 2022, brought to you by Powerade and the Sunny, are complete. The Jennifer and Anthony Jones zone dominated the proceedings, and what a day was had by everyone. Our man on the spot, and Mark Goodrich's voice, is here once again to give us the points totals at the end of this second and final day. Thank you very much, Nick. Um, good afternoon to you from the UCM Boat Sports Complex. Yes, I can tell you that the Jennifer and Anthony Jones zone, they are double crown champions of the BSAC Championship 2022. Um, they had two 523 points in the female section and 567.50 points in the male section. Peter Vaughan zone, they came second in the female, 409 points, while the Jeffrey Burt zone, third with 370 points in the male section. The second position went to the Jeffrey Burt zone, 383.50 points, while the third position went to the Peter Vaughan zone with 359 points. Mm -hmm. Any outstanding performers today? Well, Josiah Paris, he belongs to the Jennifer and Anthony Jones um, zone and obviously we have the head coach here, Mr. Mm -hmm. Gabriel Burnett um, but I can tell you it was a very good performance from Josiah Paris um, the time 21.7.23 seconds um, definitely qualifying for the Carifta Games in Kingston, Jamaica so he's added the 200 meter to his 400 meter he has already qualified in the 400 so today he just finished the job in qualifying for the 200 meter and you know I spoke with him earlier and he said you know it is something that he expected to do indeed and I'm sure coach that is something you probably expected him to do how did you see these two days of action yes um we did expect Joe Sai to perform extremely well. We expected all the athletes to do that, and that's exactly what they did. Uh, Ma would have mentioned Joe Sai as the outstanding performer, but I also want to talk about Shalini Augusti, who would have qualified for Carissa Games in the shot put as well. We would have met as a team on Tuesday. The athletes knew what we wanted to do, and they just came up and they executed. What do you think about the two days of action, the quality that we saw on the track? Um, I think it was pretty good. Um, the conditions were not the best. It's extremely hot down here. Extremely hot. It's, it, I think it's hotter than at the stadium. Wow. I don't know if that's possible, but that's how I feel. And for the athletes to come back and to repeat events, especially a 400, it's really hard to run two 400s in one day. And to do it in these conditions, and you saw the performances that the athletes would have put it across the board, I think the athletes did extremely well. How did you manage the zonal organization, this new zonal organization this year? Well, to be honest, we had help from all the schools involved in the zone. Um, I think the advantage of this format is getting the PE teachers to collaborate and work well together. And we were able to achieve that. And all the schools, they pitched in and we just did what we had to do. We kept the athletes motivated, we kept them excited. Um, they were very comfortable, had all the liquids that they needed, they had the food, the food, they had everything that they needed and they just came on and executed. Mm -hmm. And Carifta Games coming up soon, you disappointed that we didn't have more qualifiers in these two days? Not really, I really didn't expect to have a lot of qualifiers because the athletes would have just come off of national championships as well and like I said the conditions were not the best um, so I'm not disappointed that we didn't have more qualifiers, it's not what I expected I just wanted people to perform at a high level and feel good about their performances. For some people, myself included, this would be my first into school sports. Unfortunately, as a schoolboy, I was not able or I did not go to into school sports. You think that today, these last two days, were a great advert for into school sports? Yeah, I think so. And especially coming out of the pandemic, I think it's something that was needed. The it was all, this one was all about the athletes, right? And for them to showcase their talents, especially the ones that are leaving. Right, they would have not had that last chance for that BSAC. And then we got the first and second formers that would have been on that side and we're now missing them. So I think it was good for them. Um, hopefully it will get everybody back in that school spirit and the old scholars and everyone will come back up next year. Finally, coach, speaking of last chance, I understand you may be moving on to greener pastures, departing the St. Michael's School. Any information on that? <laughs> no, I'm not departing the St. Michael's School. Okay. <laughs> Clarify for me then. I love the St. Michael's School. I'm not going anywhere. I will not be at a teacher at any other school than the St. Michael's School. But I am looking to pass on um, from track and field and work more in the backgrounds. So, um, it's, it's been taxing. It's been tax very taxing. Right, I love it and we'll see what happens. I've, I've been trying to step back for like six years now, so 
we'll see what happens. Okay, coach, thanks a lot and all the best. Thank you very much. And this has been our comprehensive coverage of the Barbados Secondary Schools Athletic Championships brought to you by Powerade and the Sunny. Great work by Anmar Goodrich Boyce on the spot and all our photographers and videographers. One is here, Rico Moore, and we thank you for joining us on all our social media platforms. Until next time, see you later.